so welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series <clears throat> in our last video right here we talked about um, password right back and I really did not show you uh, the Azure AD connect but I have covered in the uh, previous videos so if you are following all of it you will know how to run it especially if you have seen the video here this one have you seen the this video like try um this trial and error video it's long i know um it uh, is in detail how to run uh, actually how to enable that all, all you have to do is enable just once and it will do it automatically uh i'll uh, still I'm gonna I have to run it for something so I'm gonna show you in this video as well uh, the reason I want to run it is <clears throat> because of this you see Azure ID connect it's still the message like if it detects it, it's uh, I know it's been like three weeks but it's saying three days ago so we have to run our server that has the Azure ID connect installed on it so that's why I did not run because I wanted to make sure that I show you this message and then because as soon as I'm gonna run, fire up the server uh, AD connect will go automatically <clears throat> so <clears throat> Today I really wanted to talk about groups, uh, but I thought that uh, I covered this first. I'm gonna pause the video. It's just. All right, so let's log into this one. So if you keep an eye over here, it should say like once it's done, it will say it ran about 30 seconds ago or a minute ago, something like that. So this is the Azure ID Connect. Once installed, it runs automatically. I can run it one more time to show you how to enable that password reset if you have an E3 license, uh, 365 E3 license or something. So, ah, uh, it's already C. So as soon as you run it, it's a uh, start uh, synchronizing. That's why it will not let me do any the, any of the configuration. So I can exit it out, let it do a thing. It's going online and syncing everything. So I'm gonna pause the video again. I don't want to just waste your time. Uh, so it's been a minute. A minute is more than enough uh, since I have only like a dozen users. Okay, now it can. Okay, so uh, let's quickly show you the configuration. Congr uh, it should be under synchronization. Let's go next. You have to give the password. I hope that's the right password. Okay, that's not it. And that's um, really not good. Uh oh.
It's been so long that I forgot it probably. Alright, so I retrieved my password and through the help of Okay. Through the help of uh, it was saved in my Firefox. That's good. And this is the password right back. This is what I wanted to show you. All right, you see? So this is the one that you want. And it will work if you have like um, Office 365 E3 license or higher. It did list Office 365 business. I'm not sure which one it is. I have the business premium, but probably it's because I have the trial version. I'm thinking, but this is that's what I wanted to show you. So you have to check it. Next, run it, configure. It's gonna do the synchronization, and first it will gonna save it and then synchronize, and you will be set. <coughs> so you see, it's asking me start the synchron. Uh, synchronize synchronization process once I complete it I say yes and it should be saving everything now and then synchronize automatically at the end so I think that's what it's doing It's doing its thing. Let me check. <coughs> okay. Okay. We can exit it and go to. <coughs> Password right back. Is you ready? Connect. All right, that's good. Let's close it. Go to our, let's refresh this page right here and see if it's all green or not. Okay, you see everything is green now. It has been synced uh, six minutes ago, uh, whatever. Uh, I think it was before we ran the configuration. But this is how you do the write back. And as soon as your service goes online or whatever PC that the AD Connect is, you want AD Connect to be running from the server. Uh, so because service is 24-7 uh, on and it will keep uh, syncing the passwords back and forth. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you, this video has helped you, uh, please write, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Have a good day and Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas, yes.